is genuinely one of the most exciting videos I've ever had the honor to make. Because there is over $1,000 worth of Mario plushies inside this single box. You have saw the title, I'm gonna be unboxing the entire set of Mario Party 5 plushies in this video. So a little bit of history for ya, the Mario Party 5 plush set was released in 2003 by Sine and is notorious for being one of the most valuable and popular Mario plush sets in existence. This set is heavily coveted in the media, being used by a variety of very famous YouTubers, and this set holds a variety of plushies with very distinct features, which you will never see in today's products. The Mario Party 5 plush set is also very well known for being one of Sine's first stabs at tackling Mario plushies, whereby the brand now pretty much dominates the Mario plush market. Just another factor that makes this a truly astonishing set. So when you combine the variety of factors, such as the fact that these are 20 year old plushies and have been discontinued for well over a decade, as well as the fact that these are one of the most demanded plush sets of Mario plushies in existence, you can expect these to be worth a hell lot of money. In today's market here in 2023, a single plush from this set can go for upwards of $500, which really makes having an entire set of these in 2023 a true wonder to behold. So that just puts into perspective just how insane this video is gonna be. These models truly are Mario plush grails, so we're gonna get right into this. You, my friend, we're just gonna tear into the box because when you have so much value inside the box, the box itself is literally worthless. I'm telling you, this is gonna be nuts. You're just gonna see these all right here. I'm not sure when you'll see a video pop up like this again. So, we're going to remove this cover and you're going to see some of the most expensive Mario plushies out there. And look at that, I cannot believe my eyes. These are all totally legitimate Mario Party 5 plushies. So as I said, there are some totally random ones in here, but most of which is consumed by the legendary Mario Party 5 plushies. But you just look at this gorgeous view filled with super duper rare plushies, and I never thought I would have this entire set in my hands. Well, that sure was a glamorous sight to be seen, but now we're going to break things down and go through them all individually. Because I think they all deserve their own little moment. And we're going to go from the ground up, going from least valuable to most valuable, with the most common from the set being Toad. Now, money-wise, this guy is nothing compared to a bunch of the other ones from the set. If you want this guy in today's market, you'll only need to fork out about $60, which is nothing compared to some of the other ones you'll see later. As you can see here, this is definitely quite a scruffy toad, certainly in used condition, quite dirty at that, but thankfully this is the most common one, and there are only two that are in sort of bad condition, this is definitely rather worn, but at least there's no actual damage to it, like a missing armor. And yeah, as you can see, unfortunately, the Tush Tag is pretty badly washed away, but you can still see it there, and it's 100% official. And yeah, this Toad, definitely nothing wrong with it. It's definitely, you know, this Toad could totally still pass by today's standards. Up next is Yoshi. He's a little bit rarer than Toad. You'll be spending around $80 for this one. And yeah, this one, just like Toad, he's the other... I suppose dirty one from the set, the one I would say is heavily used. I'm really lucky in that sense because these are the two most common ones. All the ones beyond that are much cleaner. But yeah, as you can see, good bit of dirt on here, especially on the stomach here. He's definitely been through some uh, toilet trouble. So yeah, you can even pick up on some loose threads and whatnot. The touch tag's also rather weathered, but thankfully... When I need to go and get replacements for Toad and Yoshi, considering their condition, it shouldn't be too much of a problem since these are the easiest ones to get. See, a pretty standard Yoshi plushie with his shoes and his saddle and whatnot, but the face here is what really makes him stand out as a Party 5 Yoshi. Very odd proportions, totally not something that would be possible today. And yeah, you're never going to see another Yoshi with proportions like this going forward. 
up next, we've got Peach. Around $100 for this one. Now, you might look online and be convinced that you find one for $20, but be known that those are actually fake. Now, there are fakes for a majority of the Mario Party 5 plushies. It just makes the official ones even harder to get. But I've always found Peach to have some of the more convincing fakes. Um, so if you do see one that you think's too good to be true, chances are it probably is. Now, I know they can get flicks sometimes, but just make sure you inspect the listings really closely. You'll always be able to find some sort of feature that really separates the fake from the official. But hey, I wouldn't blame you if you stumbled upon a picture of a Party 5 Peach and even then thought the official one was fake because man, this one's weird, especially the face here. And even got a nose. What sort of nose job is that? More like just surgical ma'am. But yeah, thankfully this one is in perfect pre-owned condition. Tush tag's perfect, I'm really glad because from Peach and going upwards, things get really expensive, so thankfully we won't need to get another one of these. Up next, we got your boy Donkey Kong, the DK. Now, he's also going for around $100. You really could alter Peach and Donkey Kong. They're sort of on the same level, so I'm not really necessarily ranking these two. Now, this Donkey Kong surprisingly looks very, very modern. It looks just like the All-Star one, especially with the pose and whatnot. Like, I see someone's on eBay, and then for a second, I'm like, yo, that's just the All-Star one. Why'd that sell for 100 bucks? you know? Um, now, mine does look a little wonky. That was goofy face, but yeah, they definitely... In most cases, it'll look more like this. And yeah, this guy's just in great shape overall. Really nice and stuffed and soft. And just brilliant pre-owned shape for sure. Pretty much perfect. Or should we say perfection? A perfectional DK. <laughs> Chocolate Thomas. Up next, we have Wario. Now, this guy's worth around, well, sort of a similar price. I'd always, I kind of bump it up a little bit, maybe around 120, 130, but I see this guy up for grabs a lot less commonly. Certainly a very odd yet unique Wario plushie. Definitely not anything like what we'll see going forward. Look at these tiny stubby legs. Could also do with a bit more fat in here. And then the proportions on the face here are all over the place but you know that's just every single mario party 5 wario plushie this one specifically the presentation is really nice touch tag in great shape however there are some really big flaws on this specific wario unfortunately for example take the arm here as you can see gripping issue here two full-blown holes in the arm here with stuffing hanging out not nice at all there's another one on the leg there too so might need to try and track down another one of these guys unfortunately and now we move into the top three, with number three being the big man himself, the big bad Bowser. And boy, this guy gets pricey. Everything going up from here is just madness. This guy is going for upwards of $250 without the tag. None of these in the set, unfortunately, that I got have the tag. So I will have to try and track down tagged ones eventually. But I know I'll hold on to these ones for a very long time, because it's going to be a long time until I get those tagged ones. So in like mint tag condition, you're talking definitely like $300 for this. And I like, it's a wonderful Bowser plushie. Actually one of my favorite, possibly favorite Bowser plushie ever. It actually looks incredible, really detailed, way ahead of its time. Look at the tiny touch tag in here. This thing is massive. The biggest one from the set. Facial proportions are lovely. Really love the look of this Bowser. Definitely looks a little, it definitely is different to today's Bowser, but really kind of comparing to maybe even like mario 64 bowser or something or of course mario party it looks really good and i love this bowser plushie really unique and of course really stands out from any other bowser plush in the crowd up at number two we've got mario of course you know this face now this guy's prices are all over the place but it is undoubtedly one of the most expensive ones i've seen these go for 400 dollars without the goddamn tag and you've probably seen this Mario plushie. It is very, very popular, uh, largely due to Super Mario Logan. This was the Mario plushie he used all the time. And yet, yeah, totally a wonderful plush model for Mario here. Totally even passable by today's standards. As the main character, this would still totally be all good by today, I think. And these overalls are especially really cool. I love how you can actually flip these up. Now, I totally believe these, this is like totally removable. Like, I think you could get this entire overall off without actually ripping the thing. But of course, I am never going to try that. It's not worth the risk. And yet, yeah, hashtagging everything. And last but not least is the holy grail of this set. We're talking Party 5 Luigi. There are so many people out there right here, right now, 
just dreaming of owning this thing and this guy's prices just get insane which is why so many people don't have this thing i see these go for 500 dollars. of course just like mario though since it gets just so expensive at that point the prices do differ like this could you could see these pretty often for 300 equally 500 you know it's just mad but it's totally in that range and it's crazy but yep, again, a lovely Luigi plushie could also totally pass for today's standards. And I love how it's got the same overall thing going on with Mario, as I just explained. Tosh tag on there too, perfect condition. The only thing is, is his head was put on there is a little slanted. And there you have it for my unboxing on the entire Mario Party 5 plush set in 2023. Now let me know in the comments below, who's your favorite from this set? Also, how many of these do you own? And finally, hopefully not bombarding your questions here, but would you like to see more similar content going forward? You know, I suppose this Nintendo plushies, vent or just general vintage plush set coverings, because I may have another set on the way that I could totally cover. So let me know all that in the comments. I'll see you all next time.